Hello YouTube, my name is Christian Lopez. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a Lego Star Wars minifigure haul and unboxing. We have a total of four different packages coming from two different countries. We have um, these two packages here coming from Europe and these two packages coming from the US. Um, all three of these, or both of these were purchased on Facebook Marketplace. This was purchased on eBay, and I got all of these on OfferUp. Let's get right into it. Now, I will say this package, um, I haven't opened the inside whatsoever, so um, in case there is any cuts, only reason there would be is because there's paperwork in here that does show personal information. Otherwise, let's get this open right now. I did order this, I believe, three weeks ago. Um, so I don't remember what is in this package, honestly. But let's get it open. All right. Queen's birthday honors joy for recipients. So it came in some mail from across the pond. That's pretty cool. I wish I could do that for a living. That'd be fun. Ooh, all right. All right, yeah, so right here, we can take a look at this first figure right here. Looks to be in great condition. I love the leg printing and the chest printing right here. I love it when these figures um, do have blue and red on these black torsos. Nice shiny little metallic belt. No crack. No crack. And yeah, arms look good. Okay, let's take a look at that face. Focus. There we go. Awesome. It's a great looking figure right there. It's got a little flashlight. That is an Imperial Ground crew member right there. Let's put that up in the corner. Next up right here. Oh gosh, I love these guys. All right. I love the gunmetal gray color these stormtroopers have right there. Look at that. All right. Same standard little angry face all these stormtroopers have. And we have two of these right here. And this right here is the second one. These are shadow troopers right here, shadow stormtroopers. Seriously, these are actually one of my favorite stormtroopers that they've ever produced right there. Just a great figure. Um, I love it. Let's get the head to this guy right here. Awesome. This looks like a first order crew member right there. Love the helmets on these things. Plain little face, no back printing on that one. But body and arms are in great condition. Let's put these guys all in the back here. Oh, looks like we have one more right there. Happy little guy. Oh my goodness, it looks to be <laughs> in great condition also. And finally, with this Lego haul, we have some Stormtroopers. Now these ones all right here do have the new faces, it looks like. These are the new face Stormtroopers, which honestly, I know a lot of people give hate for these figures. I really like them. I mean, the detailing on them is amazing. Leg printing, chest printing, and the printing on the helmets, to me personally, I love these things. And those new heads right there. Look at that black i've actually never seen that is that how they look on the inside my goodness i didn't realize they had black on the inside of these helmets huh these are the first time i've gotten these right there i wanted to grab them that's why i picked them up but i've never had these stormtroopers before these new styles right here we do have a battle damaged stormtrooper right there which amazing i mean look at that printing on the chest I love the way it looks. It looks like they're all battle damaged. That's super cool. Right here, got a little jetpack on the back, which has amazing detailing. That one also has the jetpack on the back too. And these things are just awesome. I love these things. Then finally, we have, it looks like, another stormtrooper right there with great detail as well. And the bodies on all of these are, I mean, are great condition, no cracks on the arms. Angry face on that one right there. And then looks like we got some blasters and some extra stuff. So honestly, I like that. I like the way that little blaster is right there. That looks cool. Super happy with this first haul. I forgot exactly what I ordered and um, very, very happy with this. Let's move these aside and move on to the next package. All right. And next up, we have another box right here that came from the UK. 
Oh, that's two different bags. So, we have one snow trooper. Great condition also, no cracks in on the arms or the body. So there's one right there. We have two, which this is actually, I believe like a limited edition one that came in a, I think a book. This mold, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a special snow trooper right there. Good the detailing on the back right there. Little tile printed piece. And then again, we do have another crew member right here. And I have, I think I have like five of these guys now. Snow trooper, again, in great condition. Right there. To speed this up slightly, we have three more snow troopers right there, which all are in great condition here. They all have just a standard black heads on them. No crackings on the bodies or torsos whatsoever. Bam. Bam and bam. Now right here, I'm very excited for this minifigure right there. Love the green printing. Honestly, on all of these dark imperial and first order um, minifigures, I love when they have the black printing and then have hints of color in them, whether it's green, blue, or red. I really do like the way they do that. And this is a pretty cool little figure, menacing little guy. Honestly, this helmet, it does remind me of those I'm trying to remember the guy from uh, Mandalorian, those big old troopers. Oh my goodness, I can't think of it, but yeah, I love this figure right there. Right here, we looks like we do have a pilot right there. With ooh, look at that face. That is an angry face right there. On the back, we have another one. I don't know if that's the right face. I don't think that's the right face. If it isn't, um, leave, let me know in the comment section down below what face that goes to. If it does go to this one, I'd be a little bit surprised. This looks like an interesting face for this fighter pilot right here. So, so far we have a whole bunch of First Order and um, Imperial crew. But last up, we have two R2-D2s right there in um, fantastic condition with that light gray and light blue. I really do like these two figures. Here we go. Now we have gone through both of the packages coming from the UK. Let's go into my eBay order. Let's get these figures out and remove this. Now this specifically, um, I paid $14 on eBay. So let me know how I did. Um, I paid $14 on eBay. It, I, I, I didn't look too much into this post. Let's take a quick look. Let's drop these out and uh, see how I did. I'll definitely be making a video on um, trying to save all these figures, removing all the Sharpie, getting them cleaned up and, and going from there. So, um, well, this is a lot. Let's, let's just move this up here and uh, slowly work our way through. So right here, starting off, that is a sad figure to be sharpied on. That right there is a shock trooper. That's a shock trooper body. Um, not, the, not the new clone style that goes for $40, $50 a figure, but still I do like the shock trooper bodies and there is Sharpie on that. Standard white legs, so that's no big deal. White legs go for I think 10 cents a piece. And there's some Play-Doh in there also. I'm pretty sure I can remove most of that Sharpie um, without an issue, so I'll definitely be making a video trying to restore all these minifigures back to life. Right here we have an old style clone helmet that obviously they were turning custom for that shock trooper right there. Um, with red Sharpie, oh and, wait what? Yeah, look at that. They filed down the side of this helmet and then use the black Sharpie over that. We'll see if I can try to get this thing cleaned up. Um, let's just attack this, attach this to this guy right here. Um, look at that, that looks amazing, awesome. Well, we have a lot to go through here. Next up, ooh, look at that guy. Um, 
look at all that black sharpie on that face. This one's not filed down though, which is nice, or actually it is filed, oh my god. They filed the top ridge completely down. I didn't notice that at first. I thought it was a flat head. Well, they filed that completely down and sharpied all over it. We'll see how much I can repair this one. All right, so I decided to change it to a voice over here because I somehow made this next four minutes a 16 minute long video looking at like 15 different minifigures with a whole bunch of Sharpie marks. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover. That is a, a non Star Wars Lego minifigure right there. I think it's Indiana Jones, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you know in the comment section, let me know. I am. I just started collecting Lego minifigures about a month ago, so I am sorry if I sound like a complete noob not knowing any of the names. I have a Phase One Clone Trooper with a shaved off, uh, with a shaved off fin. We'll see what we can do with that one. And then I think another non-Lego Star Wars minifigure right there with some Play-Doh on it. Nothing, nothing too big. I think we have an old Luke minifigure right here, um, again with Play-Doh, some hair, gross, but we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, <laughs> a clone trooper head on, I think, like a Ninjago body. Um, we'll see what we can do with that. That one is, yeah, that is nice. Look at that, all caked up in there to hold that piece together. This is this was sad. This was a very sad to see. We have a OG Mace Windu light up minifigure and someone ripped the arms off this thing. You can see the wires sticking out of it and it's in perfect condition. There's no cracks on the body, no cracks, nicks, bite marks anywhere whatsoever. A beautiful minifigure and someone just ripped the arms off that thing. No I'm going to replace it with OE, um, original arms, uh, not the light up ones, because I'm still going to keep that figure. And then coming up, we just have some uh, clone trooper bodies with Sharpie marks. We have some legs with Sharpie marks on it. Those are some red Sharpie is the worst, because even after you remove the Sharpie, it just stains it. And here we have the, another shock trooper body right there. Um, and I decided to knock everything over. Let's fix that real quick. I love the Shock Trooper um, printing that they have on these guys. It's the original one, so it's like, again, it's not worth $50, $60 like that that newer one is, my goodness, but it's still a cool one. This is definitely a throwaway helmet. I mean, they shaved off the face, they shaved off the fin. I don't think I'll be able to remove that Sharpie. It's probably because they did get rid of that like clear coat on top of that plastic. It's probably just stained right in. Here we got some Clone Trooper helmets right there with some Sharpie marks. I should be able to get all that off. Honestly, this helmet looked kind of cool with the the red line work in between the fin. And then again, just some, just some more torsos with Sharpie Mark all over them. This is a pilot, um, a gray pilot right here. I have two of these bodies with no helmets, so I definitely am gonna have to order some helmets on BrickLink. Some paint, another clone right there with some super glue on that torso. We'll see if I can get that off. And then right here, I know we do have the Shock Trooper helmet, which honestly, love the helmet. Sad they sharpie on this one also, but we should be able to get it off. Honestly, I don't understand why they would sharpie this one because it already has so much detailing on the face as it is. But you know, pr probably a kid. All good. <laughs> Some more white legs. We have a, a, another custom arm printed clone trooper right there. Um, this is an elite clone um, with the older style face, but obviously there's no helmets right there. And three of them, I believe. There's one, two. And three, this one that looks like someone actually already cleaned the Sharpie off of it. So you can see that detailing is all faded away. Looks like someone took, I'm guessing, acetone or something to it and tried cleaning it all off. And more paint on legs. Put those together right there just to make it look somewhat more complete. And again, look at that. We have a ooh, phase one clone with some teardrops dripping down his eyes. Look at that little artist face that we got on that trooper. That is not Star Wars whatsoever. A OG, no, that's not OG, but that's just a standard Stormtrooper helmet right there. Another original clone. Another clone with lots of custom Sharpie on it. This one is Sharpie up like crazy, but honestly, once I put these all together with that teardrop helmet, it actually looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know, I may just leave that on the way it is, honestly, it's kind of cool. <laughs> and then the shaved off face original clone that helmet's definitely going in the trash as well but uh let, let's get into the next video now this right here this is what i have been waiting to open um <laughs> i bought this bag from someone on offer up uh, the father was selling the son's legos the son didn't want his legos anymore 
and um, the father said he pretty much the son assembled all the Legos and put them all together um, as much as he could for me and um, I'm going to let you know what I paid for this after we go through all these figures um, right off the bat I mean I saw this post on OfferUp and I would I, I immediately messaged him it was up for like 30 minutes um, he said he would do it and I ended up giving him more than what he asked for because I felt like he deserved it so let's take a look at all these figures I mean you can see what we have right off the bat is awesome we have some Darth Vader's we have some little Luke's we have some Senate Commandos, Mandalorians, I mean, Kashyyyk Troopers, Arc Troopers, two 12th Troopers, Bomb Squad, um, and right here in the corner, you will see someone very important as well. Let's get this open. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go, I'm not even going to dump this out. Let's just go one by one for these. So, I'm just going to grab one randomly. Bam. Bomb Squad Trooper. First one. In great condition. No cracks, nothing. Look at that. Bomb Scott Trooper starting it off right off the bat. Next up, let's just grab another one. So I'm literally just grabbing this from the back right here. So, all right. Got a little droid. One little droid. Grab another one. Oh, look at that. So that's definitely one that doesn't <laughs> completely match. Um... Right body and face it looks like, but definitely the wrong hat and backpack. That's just a little jumbled random figure right there. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Look at that Senate Commando with the white printing on the body. That is a beautiful figure right there. I love these guys. They look awesome, honestly. I love their helmets. They remind me of Gladiators. Put that back right there. Honestly, these figures are probably gonna fall back and fall. That's okay. There's a lot of them to go through. Yeah, so these legs belong to an ARC trooper. Um, and it looks like, not, not even the arms, they have white arms. But uh, that is a, I love those legs right there. That's a cool little figure, might leave it that way. We'll see, probably we'll or, end up ordering some of the stuff, just depending on how expensive. All right, we have a little printed slow piece. Not sure what that goes to. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what that goes to right there. We have a Darth Vader with the old helmet and the old face and the old cape. That cape has turned from brown or from black to gray. All right. Got a little Darth Vader right there. Honestly, that's actually my only my second Darth Vader I own. I don't, I don't really own Darth Vader's. All right. Got a little pilot right there, just the head itself, no body. Clone Trooper, which is got some red stain on it. Nothing too crazy. Is that the body of red stain too? It looks like a, maybe a little bit, but not a bad right there. Right helmet, awesome. Snow Trooper right there. Love these Snow Troopers. All right, let's speed up through some of the basic stuff, and then once we once I pull something that is pretty cool, we'll take a look at that. But right there, got a Rebel pilot. Love the head printing on these guys. They look really cool. Love them. Oof. Look at this beast right there. That is a good Lego minifigure. Love the cloth. Love the face. Love the battle-damaged helmet and the battle-damaged body. That's a good figure right there. I think these guys go for like, what, five, 10 bucks a piece, maybe? Awesome, this is a 212th clone right there with battle damage. Love that figure also. These guys will stick together right there. Stormtrooper, awesome little Stormtrooper right there. Good helmet. All right. We have a Star Wars 2010 Legoland California Star Wars days All right, that's a cool little block. Don't know what I'll do with that. Not sure if it's worth anything, but looks pretty cool We have another clone paratrooper right there Which is still a great figure. Love these guys. I love the helmets. Love the printing on them Great figures. We've got three of these guys. Those are definitely gonna go with my commander Cody that I have in the mail right now 
we have another snow trooper, which this one, ooh, got a wiggly arm and some cracks, but cool little figure right there. Let's put that arm down. Um, <laughs> cool little figure we got going right there. All right. We have a Hoth Trooper, which that's definitely not the right hair piece. I don't believe these Hoth Troopers had any hair. Always had their little helmets on. All right, we have our droid. I think, this, is this a medical droid, I believe? Is that a medical droid? That looks pretty cool. That is an awesome little figure right there. I like that. Definitely keeping that guy. Another battle droid. Let me just pull these out. We have three. Fourteen. Is that all of them? Oh, no, we got these guys. I think these are, like, actually... These silver bodies. I think these are, like, like the um, assassin droids, I think. I think that's all of them. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of figures right there. We have a Gungan right there. Great looking fella. Another older clone trooper right there. Awesome looking guy. Good condition looks like. We have a commander right there. Awesome, love that green on the arms, the face, and the chest. It's a good looking figure. Dropping and throwing and scratching them all up, you know. There's another Hoth guy with loose, really loose arms and no head. Ooh, look at that. There's an art trooper with, or an art trooper with a whole bunch of printing on it. Or not printing, a whole bunch of Sharpie on it. Ooh, that's gonna be fun to try removing that. Yeah, that's gonna, we'll see how that goes. Oh my goodness. Start pulling two out at a time here. <laughs> Looks like we got a Han Solo. Right there. A Mandalorian. Anger Mandalorian. Love the jetpacks. And I'm dropping all, all these figures in the back are falling. We'll get these all stand stood up at the end. Scout Trooper. Older style Scout Trooper. It's a good figure right there. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think I, I paid for all of these figures. <laughs> Let me know. We have, oh, look at that, a damaged Vader. I love that figure. Oh, look at that burnt up face. Love the detail on that one. Yeah, a dark skin tone. That's a, that's a cool figure right there. We have some bomb squad legs. Well, maybe we'll see. So you look through this if we find bomb squad arms. Another droid body. Have a pair of legs right there. To, I'm not sure which figure. Ooh, look at that. We have an ARC Trooper right there. But no helmet, and I think this is ripped. This, yeah, there's definitely needs to be another side to this. So that's a ripped figure. No, the printing on them looks so good. That's awesome. Hopefully we'll find the helmet. Gosh, another paratrooper right there. Three paratroopers, two, two twelfth clone. I mean, two arc body. There's so much stuff in this. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure this body right here is to a pilot. We have another R two D two with a missing arm. Let's see if we can find the other leg to that later on. Oof. Got Plo Koon. With no hands and no legs. All right. That looks to be, I think, maybe a Han Solo legs right there. I think Han Solo legs, maybe. A Kashyyyk Trooper. That's cool. That's a good figure right there. And another one. Oof, this one has no helmet though. Hopefully it'll be in this bag. If not, that's okay. Because with the deal that I got on this, I honestly, every all these could be missing pieces. We have a Leia with more missing pieces. There we go, no hands, no head. This right here, oh, what is this? I don't even know what figure this is. This is, this is maybe uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm guessing. 
That looks like a lot of detail for an old pirate set. That's got to be Pirates of the Caribbean. Let me know in the comment section what figure this is. I have no idea. All right. We have a standard body, which is this. Is this Commander Cody's head? It's got the little star on the front of it. I think that is. I think that's a Commander Cody head right there. That's really cool. All right, let's, let's go through and get, just grab out another handful. All right, we have another droid right there. We have, ooh, look at that. That is a good figure right there. We have this guy, well, I can, Savage Opress, I think that's his name right there. Look at that, I love that chest piece, that printed detailed chest piece right there. That is a cool figure. I like that guy, he's awesome. Which, is there any, there's a whole bunch of weapons in here, I'm guessing, yeah, look at that right there. There we go, yep, we have his dual double-sided blade right there. We have a rebel right there with a missing helmet. Another Senate Commando for the win. All right, we have another clone right there with the blue chest printing and blue side printing. I have one of those actually. That's already fully built with the helmet. I wonder if the helmet's in this thing. If it's not in, and it's not in it, that's okay. He said that he pretty much assembled everything as is, and if it doesn't have helmets, there's probably not gonna be helmets to it, which is okay, completely okay. We have an old Palpatine right there with the new, is that new? Is this new or is this an old piece? Can't tell. We have another Gungan missing an arm and missing both hands. All right, we have a clone right here with, ooh, that's a, some damaged legs, no arms and no head. All right, we have a Sith trooper right here. These guys are cool. Love the printing on them. It's got like a, like a Darth Vader chest piece almost. I really like that. Those are cool figures. I have two of those actually. All right, it looks like, yeah, it looks like again, we have another, that's not the correct face, but that looks like it's, um, I can't think of his name right now. Oh my goodness. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. I think that's a Jack Sparrow body right there. That's gonna go to the side. Same with this one, put this one to the side. These are definitely not Star Wars. Let's grab another handful out here. All right, ooh, we got a little Ewok. Look at that cute little Ewok right there. I don't know what set this came from, but yeah, look at that, all molded together. We got a little bit of drool coming off his mouth. Ooh, another battle droid with no legs. Oh, look at that. Commando droid right there. I love the printing, I love the head on these guys, they're super cool. And, ooh, Ventress. Clone Wars Ventress right there, that's a cool one. I wonder if the hilt for her sword is in here. Those are always super cool. Grab another handful, because oh my, these are a lot of figures, guys. This is, I know there's a lot of stuff to go through. There we go, another clone right there. Standard white legs. Luke Skywalker, is that the right hair piece for Luke Skywalker? Did he ever have that type of hair in a set? That's like super interesting. I don't like the hair on that. Is this a real Luke Skywalker with his hair? That looks, I don't know, it looks weird to me. I don't know if that's real or not, we'll see. Another Sith Trooper right there, which this one has, this one even looks more like Vader, that chest piece, I really like that. It looks like more Han Solo legs, okay. Little gun right there, which I'm gonna put all these guns to the side. We're gonna kind of go through what's left over after we go through all of the um, minifigures and see. All right, we have another Mandalorian with that Mandalorian face. That's a scary looking face right there. Scary looking face. And another Mandalorian, which does that one have that scary face too? Yeah, it does. I don't like those faces. Those ones are weird to me. <laughs> Grab another handful right here. Oh, we have another R2-D2, and this one has both of its legs. That's good. Man, now I have four R2-D2s. Another snow trooper. Another droid. Um, some green legs. Not sure what those go to. 
another Senate Commando because we now have how many? One, two, three Senate Commandos? I think three. Three or four. A lot of them here. Another Snow Trooper. Another pilot with this is the wrong head of the body. Gotta love that. Oh, we have a Han Solo. I mean, there's a lot of Han Solo. I haven't. Have we any? I think we've seen one Han Solo head, which is that old one over there. But other than that, no Han Solo heads. No, no. There's a lot of no hands in this set. I will say, not a lot of hands. All right, let's take a look at all the rest of the stuff. That, let me start pulling out the rest of many figures here, because a lot of them, is, a lot of this stuff is not complete. Our trooper right there. These. These are honestly one of my favorite troopers. I love these heads. These are such cool heads. I love the printing on them. I love the way they look. These, these are super cool. I would probably want to get like five or ten of these guys. Because honestly, they're super cool. I now have, I think, three of them. This is an old Rebel pilot. And another Senate Commando. Ooh, that's four Senate Commandos in this set. And what, four Mandalorians? My goodness. Let's go over here and start grabbing more stuff. We have a pair of gray legs. Another Rebel right there from Hoth. If we can focus. Ooh, look at that. That is, I don't know what mech that is. Silver with black. Let me know. Right here we have, it looks like another Hoth. That one's interesting. I don't know what that one's from either. I'm just, I'm sorry if I, if I don't have the best knowledge, guys. I um, just started collecting Lego minifigures about a month ago. Um, so I'm just getting into this. And my first video was the... Um, UCS Millennium Falcon stand uh, review and install right there. I love these guys. They have such cool faces right here. Look at that. No arms, no legs, no hands. I mean, what kind of quality of life do we have there? I would want to live with no legs. How about no arms? No arms or legs is basically how you exist right now, Kevin. You don't do anything. All right, well, let's get back to it. All right. Ooh clone right there. We have a clone pilot, which that one has the correct arms, the correct head. All right, look at that. There we go. I know I have three of these guys, but this is the only one that's complete. The other two are missing the heads, the arms, everything. All right there, that's a battle droid legs right there. Right here, these are the last ones. So starting off, we have Sebulba right there. Very creepy. So it's a great figure, but I hate it because it's creepy. <laughs> we have a Kashyyyk Scout Trooper, which personally don't really care for this figure. Um, I like the Kashyyyk Clone Trooper much better. I think the print works better versus with this face, although it does have great printing. We have another pilot right here, and instead of this one having that standard mold on the face, it's actually right there. So very interesting. We have a Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker, which part of his face is rubbed off, but not too bad. Cool little figure. Now last but not least, we have my favorite figure right here except for phase two. A little hint, I'll be making a video on it in the very near future. So there's that one. It has the incorrect waist cape. It should be that gray color, not black, but still an amazing figure. Let's get, and then, oh, okay. <laughs> there is all of this. I mean, let's, let's just, okay. Oh my. Goodness. All right, guys, I had everything set up on base plates here. The grand total for this entire haul came out to $178. The eBay haul that had the Sharpie minifigures was $14. The haul with the Snow Troopers and Dark Troopers came out to $40.
and the Stormtroopers and Shadow Troopers came out to $44. Finally, the Offer Up Lego haul, which was that last one that we looked at, came out to $80 for that entire bag of Lego. Altogether, we got 84 weapons, including 6 lightsabers, 85 100% complete Star Wars minifigures, and 53 incomplete minifigs, as well as a lot of extra legs, heads, helmets, and torsos. I'm super happy with this purchase. We got great figures from the 212th Platoon, Light Up Mace Windu, Dark Troopers, Shadow Troopers, Savage Opress, and the cherry on top, Phase 1 Captain Rex. 137 total LEGO minifigures is not bad whatsoever for a first LEGO haul, and I can't wait to upload more videos like this for you guys in the future. Alright YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video. This is only my second LEGO video I have ever done. I can't wait to upload more in the future. I will be uploading one um, by the end of next week uh, with the LEGO minifigures that I have that are Play-Doh, sharpie permanent marker. I'm going to try to get those into pristine condition so we will see how well I can do. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below how you thought I did not only with making this Lego minifigure video, but also how I did on this Lego haul. Personally, for my first Lego minifigure haul, I think I did pretty well for the price to what minifigures I received. Honestly, I'm super happy with that and can't wait to continue growing my Lego army. I will be uploading more Lego minifigure hauls in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope you have yourself a great day.